Hello everyone. Today is Wednesday, February 20th. It's 8.48 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can see my computer clock on my right. I'm just getting around to making today's video. On my left is the time and sales in the uh, overnight session. The E-mini S&P at 8.48 p.m. is trading at 2784.50. Before I get into uh, the auto trader charts, I always like to have some trading education if I can. And so today I want to talk about a method that you can use with the auto trader to start trading the auto trader at key levels and perhaps improve your probabilities by instead of just trading because the market opened, uh, if you have some trading skill, waiting till the market approaches a key level and then beginning to trade. Um, I think this is a very valid approach. In fact, I have a couple of traders that are actually doing it this way. I also want to talk about Fibonacci. And is, is Fibonacci real or is it a self-fulfilling prophecy that the numbers land on these numbers because so many people follow them? I believe that there is some validity to Fibonacci, but I think there's a better way, and that is through the use of volume with, with the market profile or volume profile because volume traded at a specific level tells us that the market is undecided if the market is going sideways. And let me give you an example. Here we have the uh, BWT volume profile indicator. This is a five minute chart. And on volume profile, notice the resistance here. This is the value area high from the previous day. And this is the value area low from the previous day. So notice that the high and low of today's market uh, coincided with yesterday's value area high and low. Now, so so this is the E-mini S&P in a five-minute chart. And this is the regular session only, no overnight trades. This is just from 9.30 to 4.15 Eastern Standard Time, the beginning and the end of the session. So whenever you're looking at market profile or volume profile, the high of the value area and the low of the value area is where 70% of the, of the volume traded. And the lines here are always from the previous day. So, so this red dashed line is uh, red because it's the high of the value area and it's typically an area where, where it provides resistance. Now, of course, there are days it breaks through this, but in this case, you can see clearly that it was resistance for the market. And then the low of the value area um, here uh, clearly was support. Um, so the dotted lines are the value area high and low. And then the solid lines here, the solid blue line, the solid red line, is today's uh, value area. So since this is just a regular session chart, um, as soon as uh, the first bar forms at the open of the session tomorrow, this will be the high and low of the value area from today for tomorrow. And then the green is the point of control. The point of control is where the most volume occurred for the day. The dotted black line is the developing point of control. So this is the, uh, the volume at price you know, in other words, the price that has the most volume um, as it changes throughout the day. So if I scroll back on the chart and I just go to the beginning of today's session, we can kind of see how the uh, volume area, <clears throat> how the point of control uh, kind of changed. So if, if you're watching the market in real time and you notice that we have a rising point of control, um, that's bullish. Uh, that means the market typically wants to resolve to the upside. And that's kind of what we saw today is that we didn't see the uh, point of control shrinking. You can kind of see it here uh, in the day before that the developing point of control, point of control meaning the price at which most volume occurred. Now that's going to change throughout the day. It's, you know, that's a dynamic figure, but you can also see the gray uh, background here is uh, how much volume traded at each price. So every one of these fingers here is a key level. So so yesterday's point of control was actually the high of the value area as well for yesterday. 
and uh, the low of the value area here. No, yesterday's point of control was where where the black dot line closed. That's that's the point of control from yesterday. The blue dotted line. This is where the most volume occurred. So the point of control for the 19th was uh, 2781. That's where the most volume occurred. And today's chart, you can see it was kind of a sideways kind of range day. And the point of control from yesterday where the most volume occurred was pretty much in the middle of the range, it looks like. And then the high and low of the value area from yesterday provided support and resistance. So in my opinion, these levels are more valid than Fibonacci and one way to use the auto trader would be to begin trading the auto trader at uh, the higher low of, of a value area from a previous day. So so on this chart here's the high and low of the value area and then yesterday's point of control and and so so these lines here are from the 30th and so the next day here um, obviously, the market didn't trade to the low of the value area on the 30th. Um, so on the 30th, this is the 31st, this is the 30th, the low of the value area you, um, and the high of the value area was here. So 70% of the volume on the 30th traded between uh, 2669 and Looks like 2090 was the high high of the day here. So 70% uh, of the volume traded there. Here, um, if you would have enabled the auto trader early on to take the next signal, you would have uh, gone long here, and you know you would have caught a nice run uh, run here. And uh, if you would have kept trading, you might have had a break even or a loser here, and then another run up. And that could have been your day. And then, of course, the market went sideways. And you can see the accumulation of volume at uh, all this uh, back and forth trading between uh, 28.93.50 and actually the high of the day here, which was 20 over 27.06. Now, this is going back to January 30, 31st. I just picked a random day here. Uh, if I go to today, uh, again, you can see very clearly the low of the value area here, which was at uh, 2775, also the near the low of the day that surprised, was support for the day, and then the high of the value area, which happened to be the high of the day. So on this chart, had you uh, turned on the auto trader to go long uh, at the low of the value area, you would have caught some nice moves here in a basically sideways day. Um, for example, this trade here. Uh, if you took this signal, you would have went long at the close of the bar, which was 27.79, and that went up to as high as uh, 87, so about eight points here. And then uh, if you would have faded this, uh, you would have had a nice run down here. Remember, this is a five-minute chart. not um, it's, it's tradable, but a different time frame would still show these uh, levels to be the same. And then again, uh, after the 2 o'clock hour, you have another great long position. So whether you're trading with indicators or trading the auto trader, this is a good way to figure out levels that are support and resistance based on volume. Any any of these fingers that stick out, notice here where all this volume is. This is a key level. This is a key level here, 2781.75. All these levels here are key levels. This little finger sticking out here at 2785.50 that was you know where the market stopped right here and then another little area here was you know strong resistance for this level here and so on so you can easily see how this can provide support and resistance i'm actually going to just make this a separate video on support and resistance and the volume profile this volume profile, as I show it here the B in the BWT indicators, is a very, very useful indicator. I have it set up here a little differently than if you were to plot it uh, regularly, just the coloring here. But a uh, very useful indicator to, f to very quickly look at your chart on any given day and know what the key levels are. So if I go back on the chart, on this chart I'm going back 45 days, but... Uh, 
you know, just going to a random day, here's the 13th of February. Notice this long finger here, uh, the price is 27.52.75, and then on, on the next day, the 14th, look at all the resistance here at this level. The market just ran into a wall here, and then, you know, into the close, it faded. Now, conversely, the high and low of the value area from this day, the 12th, um, the low of the value area was support on this day, the 14th. So, um, again, you see the fingers here at, at price. Um, this area, uh, 2741, 4150, this is an area of support. Um, so, the low of the value area actually turned out to be 2738.75, and that was more of a valid level for support. So, if you went long at this level and held your stops to say the the low of the morning here which would be well actually this is this is 10 points so there was there was quite a lot of val volatility here this is 10 points from the low of the value area here to this low so uh, this could have been a tradable move this first run off the open this would look very different on super Renko charts but nevertheless this uh, 39.75 uh, level held as a uh, pretty good support. It only went down to about, uh, well, about four points, and that's pretty normal in this volatility here. There's just the spike low. This was probably a uh, stop running, but this level held right here. And then you got the market broke out of this volatility and congestion here, and then uh, came up to, well, guess where? The point of control from the day before. So remember, the black line is the developing point of control for this day, and then here it is the next day. It becomes, it's not developing anymore. It is the point of control from the previous day. And that was a definite area of support. And then, of course, the market, the high of this day was the high of the value area. So, as stated, a very useful indicator, and by engaging the auto trader at these key levels, uh, you could actually make a methodology out of this. In other words, waiting for the auto trader to come to one of these levels and then uh, turning it on, letting it take uh, the next signal. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.